My name's Jez Dolan and I'm here today at Hotbed Press and I'm working on editioning a new print called As Wide As The Sea, which is part of my residency at the Derek Jarman protest exhibition at Manchester Art Gallery. The piece of work I'm making is a text-based work. It's a screen print um, and it consists of two different parts. The background text is the beginning chapters of Leviticus, which is a book of the Old Testament. Derek Jarman was particularly um, obsessed, I think, by Leviticus, in which it says, um, not directly quote, thou shalt not lie with man as with woman, and was where a lot of, I think, as he saw it, uh, anti-gay, um, legislation and uh, opp oppression came from um, specifically from those lines in the Bible. Uh, the version I've used is uh, the Bible translated into Polari which is also often to ref refer to as the lost language of gay men. Polari was used in England between the 1920s and the 1970s when homosexuality was still illegal until it was partially decriminalised in 1967. Polari was used, not exclusively, but predominantly by gay men to simultaneously disguise and identify themselves. So it was a way of uh, avoiding being arrested or imprisoned or having people knowing what you were talking about. Alternatively, if you were particular, if you were in a, a bar or a pub and you, you fancied the look of somebody, you could drop a few words of Polari into what you were talking about and they might pick up on that and if that was the case, then you were, you were often chatting. If they just looked at you blankly, then you, you knew not to continue. The text in blue, which says, understand that sexuality is as wide as the sea, understand that your morality is not law, you have no right in our lovemaking, is a piece of text written by Derek himself, uh, which he used in lots of different contexts. He, he reused bits of his writing all over the place. Um, the text is in, not quite, but International Klein Blue. One of the artists that Derek was really influenced by was the uh, conceptual French artist Yves Klein, who patented uh, his own colour, International Klein Blue. And of course, Derek's last artwork, the film Blue, the screen is a screen in the colour International Climb Blue.